What could you achieve in game if you could access a sort of superhuman brain power? Well, in popular media, the idea of superhuman brain power has been popularized alongside the idea that humans only use 10% of their brains. And if we could access all of it, we would be able to achieve a level of genius equal to a superpower. While this 10% idea is scientifically inaccurate, there is a good reason why it sounds almost believable. In our day-to-day -day lives, we operate at a very average level of productivity and mental clarity. But every once in a while, we are able to snap into a mode of godlike focus, where everything we do feels to just flow out of us. We're more energetic, we're more motivated, and we're able to achieve our greatest in-game results. But of course, this mental state is fleeting. Sooner or later, we are just back to our baseline level, feeling like mere mortals once again. When you transition from that feeling of slow and fatigued to godlike focus, it is easy to feel like you've suddenly accessed 10 times more of your brain power. But again, this is not exactly what's happening in your brain. So then we need to ask the question, what is happening in your brain during these states of mental productivity? Well, counter to the idea of greater mental performance requiring us to use more of our brain, the research shows that the state of flow might actually require us to use less of our brains. You see, the brain needs to shut down structures that are not needed and use that extra energy to power your focus. The result is a complete loss of time and sense of self, in which you become so focused on the task that everything else seems to vanish. Now locking into the zone like this comes when your brain feels it is absolutely necessary to perform, when there is a high demand for performance and a large risk and reward, as well as the confidence and skill to match it. For example, playing a high stakes esports match against equally skilled opponents for a single shot at victory, all while on stage in front of your biggest fans and critics. But it's not every day that you personally are playing on an esports stage. so. Does that mean that this state is less accessible for you? Well, here is what's interesting about this mental state. It is far more common and far more accessible than you might think. And if you are able to figure out how to tap into it on demand, it could very well alter the course of your esports journey, bringing you to levels of skill that you never thought were even possible. Exactly what happens in your brain during flow? Well, in early attempts to figure it out, researcher Mihai Csikszentmihalyi used EEG technology to measure the brainwaves of expert chess players during a game. He found that the most skilled players showed less activity in their prefrontal cortex. And what's strange about this is that the prefrontal cortex is important for planning complex cognitive behavior, as well as decision making, of which both are important for strategic games such as chess. So, this sounds quite counterintuitive, but follow-up research measuring brain activity during flow shows very similar results. So, how can we explain this? Well, when you enter flow, your brain shuts off non-critical structures that are draining your capacity for focus. And the biggest drain on your focus is a very specific network in your brain called the default mode network. This is a network of interacting brain regions that becomes active when you are not focused on the outside world. It becomes less active when you are focused on a task or something specific within your environment. But when you lose focus and turn your attention inward, the default mode network becomes active with self-referencing, pondering the past and future, and general mind wandering. This network of the brain is likely of huge importance when it comes to remembering past events, thinking about others, and understanding your own self. But it is also the barrier that's stopping you from entering flow. So how do you lower activity in the default mode network so that you can get much more focus and flow more readily? Well, the idea of actively changing your brain's structure and activity is a little crazy, especially when you're just trying to target a single network within it. So can it be done? Well, a research team at Yale, led by Judson Brewer, studied meditators and measured their brain activity. They showed that their default mode network has less activity, not only during meditation, but all the time. In other words, they completely changed their brain's standard mode of operation to be less distracted and more prone to flow 
simply through meditation. So if you want to break down the barrier that's holding you back from flow, then the key is meditation. But beyond just taking control of your minds and priming yourself for flow, meditation has also shown some amazing benefits when it comes to memory. You see, there are two key parts of the brain that are highly active during memory storage and recall. These are your hippocampus and frontal lobe, both of which are regions that are stimulated through meditation. In fact, in 2011, Sarah Lazar and her team at Harvard found that mindfulness meditation can actively change structures in the brain. In fact, during eight weeks of a specific meditation, they found that participants were able to increase the cortical thickness of their hippocampus. In other words, their memory storage centers literally grew in size over the eight weeks. So, by training with meditation, it can enhance your ability to memorize, store, and recall large sums of information. And the implications for an esports player are huge. By physically growing your mental storage for information, you will be able to absorb more game knowledge at a faster rate, allowing you to develop your understanding of the game to a level that most players can't even access. So, with the single habit of meditation, you are able to slowly hone your focus ability to enter flow, and over time, even physically change the size of your memory storage in your brain. But here's the thing, just telling you about this is only going to give you a short-term boost of inspiration and won't actively lead to any sort of long-term impact on your performance, unless you put it into action. And to do this, you need to build a meditation habit. Now, when it comes to building a habit of meditation, there are three keys to making it stick. The first key is to make it easy to start doing by using some sort of meditation app or game. You see, guided meditation is by far the easiest way to learn how to meditate. And for years, I have personally bounced between using popular meditation apps like Headspace, Calm, and Waking Up. Now, there are tons of options out there, and I would recommend just trying the free trials within each of them to see which you like the best. I encourage you to unlock your phone and start downloading some of them right now. Now, the second tip is to build meditation into your daily routine so that you're reminded to do it at a consistent time. For example, right when you sit down to start a gaming session, immediately start by priming your brain with meditation. At first, you might need to set reminders on your phone, but over time, you will feel automatically reminded to do it every time you sit down and turn your computer on. Now the third tip is to make it immediately satisfying. After the meditation is done, give yourself a few moments to sit in the feeling of relaxed bliss. Let yourself smile and enjoy that moment before moving on too quickly. Then as you start playing, enjoy the feeling of increased focus and awareness. Now this might sound quite trivial, but it's easy to treat meditation like another task to complete and then just move on from it without letting yourself enjoy the feeling it gives you. But the more you pay attention to the effect it has on you, the more rewarding it will become. And if meditation is something you get instant gratification from, then it will become a part of your routine that you look forward to every day. So meditation is a key factor for letting you access your brain's full potential. It can help you to access a state of accelerated learning, heightened focus, and even a complete flow state. Now, building the habit of meditation takes a little effort, but if you make it an enjoyable part of your routine, then it will naturally stick. And over the next few weeks, it will literally start to change your brain. You'll notice this as you start to feel a little more different every day. Perhaps you'll feel less distracted. Perhaps you'll feel less stuck in your own head and more mentally clear when learning. And over time, these kind of effects will become stronger and stronger. And the implications of this are beyond just a small boost in your skill. It's a multiplier that will make all of your training efforts far more effective. If you want to break through skill plateaus, start improving much faster, and learn how to get more focus and flow while gaming, then I highly recommend our Esports Elite course. It's designed to teach you how to train like a pro so that you can make massive improvements in just a few months. 
It includes over 50 short videos that go far beyond any of the tips mentioned in our YouTube videos. And it combines scientific research on how to enhance your motor skills and game sense, as well as how to develop a pro-level mindset. It then combines all these lessons into a 66-day challenge that you can then use to rank up a lot faster. And we recently added a brand new section to the course on how to overcome the biggest barriers that are likely holding you back from getting into a flow state. So if you want to improve your mechanical skills and game knowledge and get more focus and flow over the next 66 days, then join now using the link in the description. And of course, this video is also brought to you by our very own esports supplements called eAdvantage. In short, eAdvantage is a cheaper, healthier, and more effective alternative to energy drinks. If you want to get insane focus without the jitters and sugar crash, and you want to play at the peak of your ability during important games, then I highly recommend it. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can find a link as well as a discount code in the description below. And of course, I hope you guys loved this video. If you did, then leave a comment down below and let me know what your biggest takeaway is. As I usually do, I will be responding to every single comment posted within the first few days, so let me know what you think. And of course, if you haven't already, definitely hit that notification bell so that you know when our next video is going to be posted. Now, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.